माइनस टू टू प्लस इन्फाइनेट एंड दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय रीजन वन इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एक्स वन एक्स वन इज फ्रॉम माइनस टू टू प्लस इन्फाइनेट एंड द रीजन टू डेट लाइज फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फाइनेट डेट इज हियर टू माइनस टू सो रीजन टू डेट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एक्स टू लाइज फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फाइनेट टू माइनस टू एंड हियर इज एक्स टू सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रीजन एक्स वन सो वी हैव टू नोट दैट हाउ मैनी पोल्स और जीरोज लाइज इन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द जीरो डेट लाइज एट माइनस टू सो हाउ मैनी जीरोज और पोल्स लाइज इन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ दिस जीरो नो पोल्स एंड जीरोज आर इन द राइट हैंड साइड डेट्स वाय द नंबर ऑफ पोल्स और जीरोज इन राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो डेट्स वाय इट इज एन इनवेलिड रीजन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रीजन एक्स टू सो वी नीड टू काउंट दैट हाउ मैनी पोल्स और जीरोज लाइज इन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ दिस एक्स टू रीजन सो देर इज वन जीरो डेट लाइज एट एस इक्वल टू माइनस टू लाइज इन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ एक्स टू सो वन जीरो लाइज इन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ एक्स टू डेट इज रीजन एक्स टू एंड सिंस वन इज एन ऑड नंबर डेट्स वाई इट इज अ वैलिड रीजन सो फ्रॉम दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन वी कैन ईजिली से डेट रूट लोकस लाइज फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फाइनेट टू माइनस वन डेट इज इन दिस रीजन ओनली लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप डेट इज स्टेप नंबर सेवन सो वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दैट द ब्रेक अवे पॉइंट और द ब्रेक इन पॉइंट एग्जिस्ट और नॉट सिंस इन द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू पोल्स डेट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई पी वन डेट लाइज एट माइनस वन प्लस रूट टू आयोटा एंड द पोल पी टू डेट लाइज एट माइनस वन माइनस टू आयोटा एंड आर वन जीरो लाइज एट एस इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू सिंस वी नो डेट द रूट लोकस डिपार्ट फ्रॉम द पोल एंड अराइव एट द जीरो सो वन ऑफ आर ब्रांच ऑफ द रूट लोकस विल डिपार्ट फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ दिस पोल्स एंड अराइव एट द जीरो बट वॉट अबाउट द अनादर पोल देर इज नो जीरो फॉर इट्स अराइवल इट विल डिपार्ट एब्सोल्यूटली फ्रॉम द एनी ऑफ द टू पोल्स बट वॉट अबाउट द अनादर जीरो फॉर इट्स अराइवल where will it arrive so there will exist an another imaginary zero this is s equals to minus 2 and this is our zero this is our pole and this is our pole so let's assume that this pole arrives at this zero but what about this branch of the root loci where will it arrive there is no zero for its arrival so we have to imagine an imaginary zero here on the real axis and this zero will arrive here this pole will arrive at this imaginary zero the concept is that since the two zero that is one a real zero and one is the imaginary zero lies on the real axis of the s plane that is this axis and we know that if the two zeros lies on the s plane that are conjugate with each other these two zeros are conjugate zeros and since the two zeros lie on the s plane then we can simply say that break away point exist here that's the concept behind which we have to calculate the break away point so simply we are given that g of s is equals to k s plus 2 एस स्क्वायर प्लस टू एस प्लस थ्री दिस इज द ओपन लूप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन विच इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन एंड 
we have to find out the characteristic equation since we know that to calculate the break in or the breakaway point we have a condition that is dk by ds is equals to 0 this is the condition but before calculating the differentiation of k we have to find out the characteristic equation characteristic equation is 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 this is the characteristic equation so 1 plus k s square plus 2s plus 3 this is the value of g only and in the question it is given that it is a unity feedback system that's why here h of s will be equals to 1 only so putting the value of h of s equals to 1 and equating it to the 0 according to the rule of characteristic equation further on solving and taking the LCM we get s square plus 2s plus 3 here is s plus 2 plus k s plus 2 equals to 0 on taking the value of k in the LHS and further terms in the RHS we get k equals to minus s square minus 2s minus 3 divided by s plus 2 this is the value of k that we got from the characteristic equation further now moving to this step that is dk by ds equals to 0 so on differentiating k with respect to s we get dk by ds is equals to s plus 2 minus 2s differentiation of this term so minus 2s minus 2 minus whole numerator as it is that is minus s square minus 2s minus 3 and differentiation of denominator that is 1 only divided by the square of the denominator that is s plus 2 to the power 2 equals to 0 because here dk by ds is equals to 0 on equating this term to 0 the new denominator will go to the 0 and on solving this part we get minus 2s square minus 2s minus 4s minus 4 plus s square plus 2s plus 3 equals to 0 on evaluating we get s square plus 4s plus 1 equals to 0 this is the quadratic equation so on finding in roots we got s equals to minus 3.73 this is our breakaway point moving on to the next step that is angle of departure or angle of arrival notice the fact that uh, angle of departure exists only in case of imaginary zeros imaginary poles imaginary poles only and angle of arrival lies only in case of imaginary zeros since in this question we have two poles that is imaginary pole one imaginary pole lies at minus one plus root two iota second imaginary pole lies at minus one minus root two iota since this question have two imaginary poles that's why we are calculating angle of departure here if in this question there exist uh, imaginary zeros then we will calculate obviously arrival let's talk about the calculation of angle of departure 
first of all we will draw the s plane this is our imaginary axis this is our real axis this is minus 1 this is minus 2 at minus 2 we have 1 0 this is our one pole this is root 2 this is minus 1 so this pole is minus 1 plus root 2 iota and our second pole is here and this is minus root 2 this pole is minus 1 minus root 2 iota so first of all for the calculation of departure angle we have to take one pole or the zero that is imaginary so here we take as a reference this pole so this pole will be taken as a reference and simply draw the line from all the poles and zeros to this imaginary pole so here we draw a line from zero to this imaginary pole and here also imaginary pole so we'll simply draw a line from this zero from this pole to this pole and we'll here also arrow is directing the upward direction okay after that we have to calculate this angle this angle is zero because this is an angle between the zero and the imaginary pole and this angle is theta p that pole so this is an angle which is made between a imaginary pole and an another imaginary pole so let's do the calculation of theta z so here the th theta z is tan inverse y over x so what is y here y is root 2 and this x here c on the s plane on the real axis the value of x will be minus 1 minus so simply value of x Setting it at fifty four point seven three, that will be as fifty five approximate. Then we can get the value P. So it up is equal to ten numbers. Here angle is 90 degree, so we will simply times 90 only. No, here direct angle, so this is 90 degree and 55 degree. After that, we will calculate the angle of departure. See the formula of angle of departure is simply equals to 180 minus theta p minus theta z on putting the values of theta p and theta z here theta p is equals to 90 only and theta z is equals to 55 degree here is the bracket so on solving we get 145 degree as our angle of departure that is theta d let's move on to the step number 9 that is final step plotting of the root locus on the s plane so this is the s plane this is imaginary axis this is real axis this is minus 1, this is minus 2. Our 1, 0 lies at s equals to minus 2. Our 1 pole will here and second pole will lie here. So, 
this one pole is minus one plus root two iota so here is root two and our second pole lies minus one minus root iota that is here minus two we have also calculated the break away point that will lies between this zero and an imaginary zero that we assumed so here will be break away point and break away point is nothing but minus 3.73 only so plotting 3.73 will lie something here somewhere here okay so this is here minus 3.73 now angle of departure we directly calculated is 145 degree so what the angle of departure says angle of departure says that the branch of the root locus will make an angle of 145 degree during its departure and arrives at the zero so the branch of the root locus will depart from the pole and arrives at zero making an angle of 145 degree since the two poles are there that is minus 1 min plus root 2 iota and minus 1 minus root 2 iota and two zeros are there that is one is the imaginary zero second one is a zero which lies at minus 2 so one pole will depart from this minus 1 mi plus root 2 iota point and arrives at this imaginary zero making an angle of 145 degree so just make an angle of 145 degree so I think the angle 145 degree will be something like this 145 degree okay so this is the branch of root locus and on touching this breakaway point this is a branch of root locus and it is arriving on this imaginary zero on taking this path so this branch of root locus departs by making an angle of 145 degree and arrives at its imaginary zero let's talk about another point that is another pole P2 that lies at minus 1 minus root 2 iota and this pole will depart making an angle of minus 1 to 45 degree and arrives at this 0 that is lies at minus 2 so making an angle of 145 degree this will be like here so this is 145 degree and this branch of root locus will depart from this point that is P2 and arrives at this breakaway point and then it will go to this 0 so here is the path taking this path it will dip departs from pole P2 and arrives at 0 that lies at minus 2 so this is the complete plot of root locus thank you